Welcome to the video, guys. How you all doing? Just wanted to uh, give a quick intro into the video of the scav run, uh, the route I take of, on interchange. Um, I watched the vod a bit, and it was a bit. I was awake at half three, so I was a bit all over the place with what I was saying. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the video. So bits I saw about the bag space and that. Make sure that when you're filling up your bag, um, that you try fill it up to the max. And as you're doing the route, if you find 10k. For that 10k item this is going well um, remove an item that's less than 10k and then just keep filling up like that obviously scavs they're random in they so you get a big backpack or a small rig or small bag big rig or even both small um, again if you want to shoot the scavs which I think I mentioned quite a lot of times go ahead again it is the money run it's not about keeping your karma and stuff like that and obviously you would lose your karma and stuff but um yeah so make sure you do that and enjoy raiding and i'm sorry if i waffle on too much but yeah try to keep to the route i'm doing um obviously um if you are on the route if you spawn further away or into a certain section then don't feel like you need to do the whole route it's just a route that i do um, and stuff like that. Basically, I came up with the idea of the video because someone asked me how I managed to make so much money within a couple of days, and that was my route. And you literally find loads. Okay, I'm not going to give any spoilers. You got to watch the video, right? But I just wanted to say that. But thank you all. And I'd like to uh, just give some honourable mentions. Uh, so you could check them on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and stuff like that. Go check out Kazu or. Uh, Kazoo or whatever some people call him, I call him Kazo. Uh, it's K E Z Z O O underscore underscore. Uh, check out Summoner UK, J Selks, and Papa Cheesecake. Um, I'll have it all links down below their channels and stuff. But make sure to check them out. They're a big, big help on my channel and stuff like that. And they've got awesome content themselves. So yeah, hope you liked the video, and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, peace out. Welcoming gamers and gamettes, nerds and nerdettes, geeks and geek sets. <laughs> Wanna be class that? Welcome to one of many, hopefully, educational videos. I don't know what's saying then. Um, this is my little guide on a scav run to make some money. Um, do take note though, uh, we'll start this off with a little thing that um, you won't always make money because this is talk of like loot isn't always there so keep that in mind right the first thing is I normally ru have a spawn and drop I'll go this way um, I'm going to show you a little route that I do and I've found myself to get quite a bit of money out of it. I normally get up to like 500k. 500k for like a 10, 20 minute raid isn't too bad. Obviously it also depends on what slots you have been given from good old Nikita. To whether or not you can make that amount of money. But I'm going to show you what I do and I seem to make a lot. Take that. We've already got one there. Got that. Let's take that. So I'm going to try to be as quick as I can because obviously, I'll show you all of it without having another run through like I did in one of my videos, but. It's just little tips and tricks if you're struggling with money and you want to make some quick money. Um, I've been doing this loads and I've managed to get myself to fourteen mil. Um, so to start off here basically. And you want to loot this because that's obviously a weapon box. You get quite a lot of stuff out of them. You head over here and there is about up to 11 stashes I just lose two of them but 
boom. Okay, one of five. Let's take that. Right, then you head over here. About half. Not great, but <laughs> I'll take it. The other tips I'm going to give on the one, I'm going to try to talk as I go along. But um, try fill every slot you can with anything and everything. Right? You'll see what I mean in a bit. Right? Oh, we're out of stamina. Jump over this. Right, so then you want to head this way. Across the road. Now, obviously, if you want to kill scavs on the way, kill scavs on the way. Obviously, if you don't care about scav karma or you need a big backpack, stuff like that, go for it. Do what you need to. Alright? You do you. Alright? First dash is here. But you want to fill every slot with something. But, bam. Right, that light bulb's 5k, right? right and, obviously, because it's scav run, it doesn't really matter. Whether or not it's 5k or whatever, you don't have to shove up your ass to sell to a vendor like you would a condensed milk sort of thing. Say so you do find a condensed milk, you'd swap it out for the light bulb, because obviously, or the echo rounds, because obviously the um, light bulb is only like 5k to, to vendors. Obviously if you find, say like this, and it's like 10k to a vendor, and but you can sell it on the flea for about 50k, by all means do that. So say if that light bulb was worth 200k and you know it's worth 200k, keep hold of it. Uh, and set it on the flea that way. Um, do you get what I mean? So do it that way. But as you can see, as I'm going along, there's dead scabs down here anyways. Nearly full form we're getting. Oh. Leg meta rounds. Right, second stash is here. Um, but make sure you are filling it with a lot. Uh, the lot of it. Because even if you find like a Tetris later on, you can swap two small K amount of rubles for a Tetris. Does that make sense? Just fill it up so then you're making money. Right, then you want to head down this way. Do, 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 do. Keep going. You could probably search in if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to show you where I go. I've got 12 minutes, that normally gets me enough time to do everything. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hope all is good. If not, we have Discord if you want anyone wants to talk. Drop us Discord. There's um, not many people in there. Not gonna lie, it's quite a dead Discord, but try get it up, and then there's plenty of people that are willing to talk. Uh, right, your third stash is here. But yeah, we're trying to grow the Discord and stuff, which I'll link down below. And then what you want to do is, after your third stash, you want to run this way. Into here. Once you're in here, you want to head towards this first tent. And in this first tent, you're going to get a weapon box. Like so. Also, a little thing is that. Oh, don't forget that table there. There is scavs here as well. So again, if you want to kill the scavs and whatnot, go ahead and kill them. See, look, quite a lot of them's got big backpacks. So, do you as you must. You want to head over to here. Sometimes, if the scavs are dead, then it might be looted. But obviously, like it's a scav run, so you got to expect loot and that being taken. Um, but the thing is, sometimes it's not been looted. Grenade box here. Head over this way. And, like, obviously, it all depends on what bag space 
rig space you've got. So again, if you want to shoot scabs, go for it. Then you want to head to these two tents here. And over here, we have another weapons uh, box in here. Big weapons box. What we got? Obviously, I can't say that. Uh, check the table because the spawns on the table. You head to this one, and then here's your second weapon box. Oh, big rig. Gonna take that. Um, Again, remember what you stick in here so you can, if needed, trade out bits. Oh, that would have been awkward that I didn't leave with that. Then you've got spawns on the table and the table there, well, the box, sorry. And you run back this way, get your little legs in motion. All you got to remember, the key thing to remember, is fill every slot and then replace it with anything better. Kill scabs if you need a big backpack, more loot, whatever you need to do. Also, depending on the time of the wipe, some things ain't worth as much, but go behind here, get your third big box. that normally on these runs hardly anyone's looted them well that's good armor that is but I ain't got room for it I'm gonna take a left here and here you get a duffel bag to here. So obviously our idea is quite a big place for players and stuff but on a scav run you hardly find players. Over there is a toolbox. Search the duffel bag. I'm not going to search the toolbox because I'm going to try this quick so I can so I can show you these stashes. Remember killer can spawn around here so be careful. I tried doing a video the other day with it and killer killed me. Weapon box there. You're just picking up anything and everything. Spawns on the table. Ammo can spawn in those boxes on the left, bottom left. Duffel get. See, someone's been here. But see again, look. Take that out. Eh. Should just control to click that one. Run over here. Another dead scav. Let's go. That's really, it's not bad. As in, sorry. Bronze line there and there. And check the back here. Gas analyzer. Gas analyzer. Gold dust. Spawn there. Spawn here. There's a PC block there, there, and there. Duffel bag here. Like so, you do that. Just take that. Spawn can uh, there. Spawn there. Otherwise, oh, killer can spawn up there and in that back room. Downstairs. Duffel on the left. So we're going to start getting rid of some stuff. Car battery. Um, on the way out, because there's still some space to do. Duffel.
Ah, uh, wrong button. Make sure you don't press the wrong button. Weapon box here. Gonna run around here. Stash number four is in here. Just here on this left. In this bush. Ground stash. Dead. Uh, plex and that. Oh my god. Fat fingers today. Then you want to head over here for stash number five. But like to see that that stash wasn't touched, but this one might be touched, sort of thing. Depends on the stash runners previously. Stash set. Again. Then you want to head down this bit. Have a quick look in here. Aquamarine. But there could be like, check the mattress because there can be like mules, SJ6s, and stuff like that. So then there's a fresh shotgun. Stash 7 here. this bit we should have enough time to get the at least four stash three stashes but I'll point out where the other two are just might not be able to make them because obviously this is a live raid because it's a scav raid should have probably done it on a PMC offline raid shouldn't I and shown you a raid that I do this way you'll see that there so you kind of have a waypoint of where we're going right so there is a stash keep along this tree line and between two trees there's a ground stash aha look oh was that the one that I was missing yes right this is another stash can't miss it it's right in front of there And then you want to head to the right behind this cylinder or fuel tank. You get stash number eight. Then you head over here to stash number nine. Simple, ignore this bush here. Run straight forward in between the two. Oh, we got a full one. Don't want to get rid of that. Then you want to keep along the wall. Over here by the wall. Slash number 10. So if you know where the stashes are, then it's a bonus. And yeah, that's all. That's all the um, route really. And then right next to it, railway exfil. So you don't have to worry if you're playing a PMC and stuff like that. Where you got to go on the other side and stuff like that. Right. You can literally do that route and then end up right in exfil. Simple. Simple as peas. Get it because I dropped some peas. And then just run down here. Extracting! Still got a minute left. So, yeah. Oh, I was going to show you up, but. Oh, and my purified water canister's done. Boom. So, yeah, basically, we got all this within a quick 10 15 minute raid. 
and should make I normally make about 500k uh, doing it but obviously I was speed running so I wasn't concentrating on what I was dropping and what I wasn't so like you just swap out stuff like this for another item so for example this is worth 15k if this is worth about 6k it's best off swapping like that with that does that make sense because then you've still got a slot left for a 10k slot so yeah keep on the route uh, keep on that route and you'll make and find loads of stashes, money, dead scavs, li alive scavs, kill the scavs if needed. Um, just remember, it's Tarkov, so it might have been looted or it might not have been looted. Um, it all depends on what the PMCs were doing. But again, it's a scav run, so you're taking that risk. Uh, but it's such an easy route to do, and you do make a lot of money. Like, I have made literally quite a lot of money just from that route itself. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy your day thank you for watching the video leave a comment if it's helped you out or you've tried it um and yeah um have a wonderful day and i shall see you in the next video which i should hopefully begin at soon okay peace out goodbye have fun